Guys, when somebody is talking to you about their dreams and their goals, and they have these big values in life, but you don't see the actual work of them actually doing it and going towards it, don't look down upon them. They're brainstorming their next move. Many times they're brainstorming their next move and what could be. If you see them continuing a lifestyle year after year of constantly talking big and not making any moves, then they're just boasting about what they're not. And then there's a big, a bigger problem. But if you see somebody that is brainstorming out loud and thinking out loud and talking, they're probably preparing themselves for something greater. And you need to encourage that, champion that. If you are that person or if you have or you're dating somebody like that, you need to encourage them that those goals are, are solid. I support you in your dream, what you're going to do. I believe in you. That, that is true love. That is love. That is love flowing back and forth. I'm feeling this way. I support you. I love you. Thank you for being here. Attachment. Let's talk about that. Attachment. Attachment. You know, I think I speak for many of us where you've had a partner who's been like, you know, stop calling me. Stop. I feel too attached by you. I think you're just too attached. Like, why are you always there? Why are you always bugging? You know, I, uh, I had a, um, a conversation with my therapist and I had a conversation with her and she was awesome. She said, you know, I hear this a lot coming from mostly from women and sometimes men and they feel like their partner has an attachment issue and that's clearly just not it. That is not it at all. There, it is like attachment comes from birth. It's from like the womb. A person knows that you're there. They know that you exist. That other per that child knows it, that you exist out there and you are giving them comfort from outside and they're feeling that love and that peace, even that nurturing and nutrients coming in. They're attaching themselves to you physically and also through life. The, the whole spiritual thing, the whole, the whole thing, it's an attachment. It's the process of it, it. It all happens. The whole beautiful process of birth and giving birth and life itself is an attachment of two. So you hear that phrase of the world goes around and well, yeah, it's through gravitational force of a, the two attaching gravity, attaching itself to earth and moving it around. It's it's the nature of, of the earth. It's, it's the nature of humans to attach ourselves to what, what makes us go around. And we can't, um, we can't shoot down those, those, those things. We can't, we can't put down those people that feel love from us. We can't. I, I myself, I would put myself the situation before I used to go to the extremes of trying to salvage my relationship and I learned over time what you're doing by continuously doing that and making the other person think that you have this strong attachment and you really don't you're just trying to salvage the relationship you're trying to show right and to be better or you're trying to mend things, even if the other person needs to be the one who needs to be better. And, and it's, really, it's really not about, I'm losing my train of thought here, but it's really not about um, going too far and trying to over, overtake and, and save and salvage the relationship. What you're doing at that particular point is you're giving so much subconscious power to, to the person. Um, it may be 
the victim. Uh, they may be the perpetrator if they have a bipolar, bipolar personality disorder, um, or if they have some other kind of thing going on in their in their mind. Um, but you're giving so much fuel and power for them. You're empowering them. You're helping them glow and grow emotionally. I got them by the string of my finger. I got them. And so too much of this attachment in a relationship can be bad and you've got to back off because at some point it, it becomes, it's unhealthy, not just for you trying, trying so hard, but it's unhealthy for the other person. And if you really cared for the other person, you would have to back off because what you're doing is you're growing the strength that you don't want to grow within that person. You want this person to be a better human being. You don't want their toxic behaviors to grow because of your vulnerabilities. You want this person to grow into a more beautiful human being that's loving and caring and understanding. You know, um, when a, I just wrote some notes here. When a man um, cares for you and is understanding, or when a woman cares for you and is understanding, you have um, you have them not forcing you, attaching, or controlling. You. Sh you have them guiding you in the right place, showing you it should be this way, my love. You should think that way. You know, when you have someone that is cares about your feelings enough to walk into the darkness of your, of your, your toxic behavior or some type of issue that you may be going with, some attachment style or some um, abusive behavior that you have, or maybe the other person has this maybe for you too. It's about walking into that space and showing them the right way. That is true love. That is true love. I was told, um, I was told um, by somebody who said, um, you know, you can't just tell me you love me. That's not enough. And I'm like trying to work it, work through the behaviors that they're expressing and I'm trying to understand them deeper on a deeper level, further than they understand themselves, because they, you know, you can't blame them because they do not know what they do. And, um, and sometimes you can see it and you're trying to help them, but we can't, you guys, you can't save all of them. You can't help and save all of them. As much as you would like to change them, you can't. These are, um, you can only guide them in the right direction. You know, people that don't know how to love, it's not their fault. They still love. They don't know how to love, but they still love. You know, an, an abusive parent that is abusive to their child, they feel guilty afterwards because they still love that child. It, you shouldn't be abusive towards your child. You just don't know how to love your child correctly, right? So, so when you have a man or a woman come into your, your life and shows you how to love and how to look at things differently and how to love differently, that is the most powerful, most beautiful love you could ever know. That's true love. Hope this helps some of you. And um, ladies, you know, this is a message for many of you.